Under the spotlight today, we're looking at the TT3004M LNER Class A1462 4472 Flying Scotsman from Hornby, Era 3. Let's get started. What a belter! <laughs> Here's a first look at an era 3 Flying Scotsman from Hornby and one of the first independent models to be released that isn't with a box set. Pull back the sheath and there's the detailing pack and it's 191mm long, 37mm high, 25mm wide, minimum curve it can go around is radius 2, it's a 3 pole motor and an X18 socket inside for the decoder and sound. Right there's the detailing pack, now I'm sure um, the drain cocks there, one of them should be a longer length but there's the vac pipes and chain as well supplied and here are the instructions or destructions as we used to call them when I was an engineer and uh, yeah that gives you all the information you need whether you've got a DCC ready or a DCC fitted it doesn't really say on the box if I'm not mistaken like it used to which is which um, but there you go now I'm not doing a running video today this is just a quick look but I have had a quick glance inside the tender and the instructions clearly show you just take the two rear screws out and that allows the tender to lift up from the back and unhook and there's definitely a speaker um, inside the tender there's many sound decoders and decoders on the market at the moment and of course HM7000 says it's going to revolutionize um, the sound and decoder market with the Bluetooth version of their decoders that are coming out. Whether I want to go down a Bluetooth route is another matter, but that's our choice. We can now get into these models a lot more easily and uh, stay DC if we want. Packaging, yeah, you just flip open. And here it is on the turntable, the Hornbit 4472 Flying Scotsman. And one thing that has surprised me, there are no front couplings and no sprung buffers, but we are talking TT120 and not 00. And the number 4472 does look to be etched in there uh, into the front beam, so that is superb, it looks wonderful. There are just so many things at the moment happening with TT120, it's quite hard to really know where to begin, but the Flying Scotsman's a good thing to start with. Look at the whistles on top, fabulous, all painted. Transfers are amazing. It's, you can almost see Doncaster on that nameplate. Look, and if we just zoom in a little bit more, come on. Oh, there it is. Well, no, that's the actual photograph. Doncaster 1923. Look at that. Couldn't resist putting that on. It does really make you think that you're actually looking at the real thing. As your memories and imagination take hold and look inside the cab at the picked out detail, the copper pipe work, the stop cocks and uh, pressure valves all on display and there we are back on the turntable here for your perusal and to enjoy and to think about your journey into model railways and modeling in general and where you'd like to run this train in your imagination and what layout you can almost see the plumes stood proudly on that crest transfer can't you got those boiler plates or with the gaskets picked out around them nipped up and see that bolt in the middle almost and the handrails and all the rivets the window frames picked out as well and glazed all lovely done oh beautiful fabulous isn't it that's the main bit look flying scotsman there's the doncaster plate again and we'll be coming back under the spotlight with a, another model soon either old or new we've had two new in a row so who knows we might dust down one of my old models they're still in the boxes and they still look pristine. And there's the underside, the underbelly of the Flying Scotsman. And uh, ready to go, ready to rumble, ready to head down the tracks on your layout or on your friend's layout. I know some people take their models to run on exhibition layouts and at uh, events and things, which is all great, isn't it? And there's an aerial or plan view, depending whether you're an engineer or a cartographer. I'm going to leave you with the Flying Scotsman. No music, nothing, just the Flying Scotsman. Hope you'll give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one, old and new. That's under the spotlight from me, Andy, Mac and all things Model Railway from Model Oco. Until next time, toodle pip.